Yo, welcome back to another tutorial, guys. We've got an image sent in from Chris here, so let's go down and see the image we'll be working with. We come right down. We're going to be working with this one right here, trying to recreate the edit the best we can. So, just a thing or two about his style. You can see there's a strong fade in those blacks, so we'll need to lift that black point in the curve quite a wee way up. And then those greens and yellows are pretty saturated and it creates quite a vibrant looking image. And yeah, let's get into Lightroom. I'll be putting all those links down in the description, guys. So if you like his content, like his work, like his photos, go give him a follow down there. So let's get into Lightroom, see what we can do. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do in our image is bring down the warmth quite a lot because there's just a lot more blues throughout the entire image. So bring it down and let's maybe bring up some highlights, a bit brighter up top there. And some whites, it's pretty close to overexposing, so let's keep them. Um, let's bring them down a bit. And shadows can come up a bit just to brighten say areas like this along here you can see we're a lot darker in our image brighten it up okay and then we definitely have quite a nice fade in this image so if you look in the darkest areas along here we've got a good fade there so what we need to do is add in quite a bit of quite a bit of fade with the tone curve so bring this up to about there and then bring the shadows down and i'm going to bring the blacks up And then I'm going to bring contrast up a lot. And then we look a little too dark. Let's bring midtones up. You can see just how more vibrant the image looks now from before and after the tone curve there. And then with this point up here, just trying to match the brightness we see over there. Okay, so, and just remember moving the curves here, say in the highlights, is different to moving the highlights up here. So highlights up here, That's this is what I think of in terms of getting detail back. You see how we got those clouds back, back there? And then if we move this one, say bring it down, we don't get the same effect. So there's a bit of difference there. So I just, when I'm moving these, I'm thinking how much detail do I see in the highlights? How much detail do I see in the shadows? So if we bring the shadows down, we lose visibility. And then see how we see the same amount of detail. It's just, how harsh those areas are so yeah it's quite hard to learn the difference but i always think in terms of de the amount of detail you can see when i'm using those curves okay 
come down so we want to add quite a bit of a pop to this image we want to really bring out well we've got to get these yellows in the image for those trees we want to really make this boat and the red shirt pop and yeah quite a bit of vibrance we've got to add so for starters let's try to make these greens much more yellow so these yellows you would just look straight at the boat and try to match them up so they look a little on the orange side saturation we need a bit more of that Red, I want the reds to pop just a bit. Oranges, just a bit. We don't want to make it too obvious, but just nicely pop from the image. And then the same with the blues and the aquas, just make them stand out a little more. And then just the tones of them, that it looks about right. There's just maybe a tiny bit. Shift them slightly towards the teal. Okay, luminance, so we want to add a bit of pop, let's go with Okay, so if you look at her hat and along the edges of the boat, even this reflection down here, you can see that this has been brought up a lot So let's bring it right up those greens back there will come in with a brush for the greens for those trees but let's just brighten them with as much as we can don't want to go too far okay and these blues um, so looking down nearest the bottom Okay, I think our image is lacking a bit of contrast. So I might just come back up and mess around with some of these. Maybe these shadows too high. Let's bring them down. That looks a bit better. And Let's think our curve is good. Right, so these trees back here. Let's get a brush. And I've already placed the brush, so it's covering the entire trees there. And so we want to make them look very autumny and yellow. So warmth. Uh, exposure, just brighten them a bit. And then they look a little flat. Let's drop the blacks for some contrast. Saturation, just make them stand out a bit more. Shadows, brighten them a little. That looks good. I think we're good for sharpening. Don't think it needs any sharpening. Very smooth looking image. No grain in this one. And no vignetting. I think we look 
pretty good. So yeah, I'll leave it there guys. Comment down below what you think, who you want to see. So comment people that don't have many followers on Instagram, but still have really great images. And if you comment them down below, I'll go reach out to them on Instagram and ask them to send in a photo. So it really helps if you do that. Check out the presets. If you guys are liking these tutorials, I know a lot of you guys mostly complain about the curves and how they're really hard to get. So in there, there's plenty of great curves for you guys to play around with and find out what you like. Really happy with the feedback from those, so definitely check them out. There's a ton of value in there. And yep, if you guys are interested in video editing, check out uh, the links for color grading and LUTs like that. And flat footage, if you guys want original flat footage from a Canon 1DX Mark II, high quality footage, and you want to learn what it's like to play around with the colors from that good of footage, then check out the links, guys. So yeah, comment down below, guys. Let me know what you thought, and I'll be catching you in the next one. Cheers.